Hi folks, it's me, Sadie. I'm coming back with another message for you. I thought I was going to share something else, but the Lord wanted me to do this instead. So the title of my message today is, you know, God around his holy feast days speaks, but we got to pay attention. And I haven't noticed a lot of the body of Christ paying attention to what he's speaking before his holy feast days. So I'm just going to pray and then let's just dive in. Father, we come before you, we give you praise, we give you glory, and we want to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. We want to hear what the living God has to say to us, Lord, because you're speaking loudly and we need to take heed and pay attention. So I bless these people with the word of the Lord and may they receive it in Jesus' name. All right. So what I want to talk about is some scrolls that were uncovered. Um, now there were some scrolls uncovered before God's holy feast days. There's some coins uncovered before the Lord's feast day. I'm talking about Passover. Passover. And then this last year, there was the curse tablet that was discovered right before Passover. So what I want to share with you, I'm going to share some decrees that the Lord has given me and some revelations that he's given me and um basically what the lord has been saying and doing so we can get in line with him because we need to be in line with him and when heaven is screaming at us yes so what happened in 2018 this is the year i wrote my book and i was actually that morning writing a devotional on god's goodness and um those of you who know uh who have had my book and have and i'm going to try to put a picture of the scroll the lord rolled before me there are coins on it there are shofars and then there's the scales of justice and this is all going to tie in together all of it so in 2018 while i was writing this devotional our ministry partner omer sent me an email and so i looked at it and i was like Oh, wow. What was discovered right before Passover near the Temple Mount steps in Israel was some coins that were minted during the revolt against Rome, basically during the Maccabean period. And what was inscribed on those coins? For the freedom of Zion, for the redemption of Zion. I went nuts. I knew immediately those were the coins on the scroll of my dream immediately because the second scroll the Lord rolled before me the scales of justice had been removed because that judgment had already been made in the courtrooms of heaven and it was raining raining freedom coins freedom coins and God was screaming in 2018 I'm doing this and he was telling me Sadie those are the coins of your dream this is amazing it's fantastic so now we're gonna fast forward Last year, 2021, right before Passover, there were two new Dead Sea Scrolls uncovered. Well, when that hit the Jerusalem Post and my, it hit my husband's phone, he said, Sadie. And he told me, I said, what? And they could read those scriptures in the cave. I flew to my Bible to see what God was saying. So what is God saying to us? And I flew. And so I'm going to read to you in a few minutes what those say. Now this year, also, right before Passover, the cursed tablet was found. And in Deuteronomy, Moses commanded Joshua when he got there, that he was to pronounce the blessing on Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebel. But he was also to erect an altar and pronounce the curse. Well, they had found that altar, but they had been going through some debris and have a new way of sifting, and they found the curse tablet. So I'm going to read to you some of these things that it says. Now we have the freedom coins right before Passover 2018, and then we have two Dead Sea Scrolls right before Passover 2021. So also it was so important, the Lord wanted me to add them in those 40 decrees that he gave me last year. So on day 16, 
That decree came straight from Zechariah 8, 16. And that is one of the, the 16 and 17 is what they could read in the cave. Now listen to what it says. This is the Lord speaking to us. Listen, these are the things you shall do. Speak each man the truth to his neighbor. Give judgment in your gates for truth, justice, and peace. Do not deceive, do not devise evil in your hearts against one another. And love no false oath. For all these things I hate, declares the Lord. Now to me, that is screaming at us. Stop lying to one another. Look how much lying has been going on in the church. You and me to one another and this rogue government. Everything. Lies, 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 lies. God's had enough of it. He was screaming right here, stop it. Stop it. To me, that was screaming at us. The other scripture that was found, and he had me write it in the decrees last year, which happens to be day 17, is Nahum chapter 1. 5 and 6. They could read that. They could read that in the cave. But I'm going to read to you what the Lord was saying because what was going on in Nahum? Nahum came a hundred years after Jonah. And Jonah went to Nineveh and they repented. A hundred years later, they were wicked, wicked, wicked. They were a modern day Babylon. So what God was saying when this was uncovered because he was announcing the fall of Nineveh, the fall of this Babylonian system we've been under. That's what the Lord was saying. So I'm going to take you there. And I'm going to read to you Nahum 1, through 1 6 through 15, 5 through 15. Hang on. We're going to read this. Because you need to hear what the Lord has to say. The mountains quake before him and the hills melt. All these high mountains, these high places, the seven mountains. And the earth heaves at his presence. Yes, the Lord, yes, the world and all who dwell in it. Who can stand before his indignation and who can endure the fierceness of his anger. His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He is your and my stronghold, okay? He's good. And he knows those who trust in him. Okay? He knows you. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of its place. And darkness will pursue his enemies. Darkness is coming after the Lord's enemies. What do you conspire against the Lord? Of course they have. He will make an utter end of it. Affliction will not rise up a second time. For while tangled like thorns and while drunken like drunkards, they shall be devoured like a stubble fully dried. From you comes forth one who plots evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Thus says the Lord, though they are safe and likewise many, yet in this matter they will be cut down. When he passes through, though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. For now, I will break off his yoke from you, from us, and bust your bonds apart. Freedom's coming, guys. Those freedom coins, freedom's coming. The Lord has given a command concerning you. Your name shall, per hold on, your name shall be perpetuated no longer. Out of the house of your gods, I will cut off the carved images and the molded images. I will dig your grave for you are vile. That's how the Lord feels about this. This is what was uncovered last year before Passover 2021. That's huge. That's huge. Now I'm going to read you the curse tablet. The curse tablet that Joshua had written. And it's this little bitty thing. I, I'm going to try to put images up so you can see this thing. But here's what it says on that curse tablet. It says, Cursed, cursed, cursed. Cursed by the God Yahweh. You, are, you will die cursed. Cursed, you will surely die. Cursed by Yahweh. Cursed, cursed, cursed. That's a lot of cursing. 
That's a lot of cursing. See, when they were crossing over, which that's another message the Lord gave me, which I will share at another time. When they were crossing over, they were commanded over and over and over again to obey the Lord their God, to keep his holy feast days, and to obey his commands, which he had given them. And blessing, blessing, blessing was going to come on them. But if they didn't, these curses. And these people are cursed, and God's about to do something about it. He's been announcing it from the earth uncovering these things. It's a glorious thing. It is a glorious thing. What a day to be alive, right? What a day to be alive. So I just wanted you to understand how the Lord has been speaking to us over the last few years, right before one of his holy feast days, Passover. There are other things that he, that's been going on, but these are very, very profound, and we need to pay attention. Pay attention. So that's a good thing. Don't be afraid of that. But I also wanted to share with you something that happened um, a while back. And this was very interesting. So um, there was some stuff going on. And um, so a friend reached out to me and said, hey, basically let's go to the courtrooms of heaven and let's seek the Lord about this stuff. So when we went, uh, we did in faith we, you, because we can just march right in. I want you to understand, think about the courtrooms of heaven, y'all. The scales of justice was on the scroll the Lord wrote out in front of me. This is huge. This is for huge. So when you go in, in a courtroom, you know, you're seeking justice from the just judge, right? And you want to shut the mouth of the enemy. So after going in, in faith, you know, and repenting before the Lord for whatever, even didn't know what was going on, you know, and asking for some justice. Um, the next morning when I woke up, this is what the Lord spoke immediately to my spirit, suspended, suspended. So at that point, I'm like, I only didn't get the word understanding fully so when I started looking well I saw that um Governor DeSantis had just suspended a lawyer because he would not uphold the law and <laughs> I started laughing okay that's it so what the Lord was telling me these entities these things bringing accusations had been suspended had been suspended glory to God y'all glory to God this is wonderful so with that um this thing happening, because this was not just about me, okay? There was more to this. And so, um, in here, I'm going to read this. So, I knew this was uh, going in the courtroom of heaven, and these false accusers were being were suspended, because that's what the Lord said. And then, here's something else, and here's what the Lord showed me then. He said, basically, Sadie, I gave you 80 decrees. You can now blow that shofar and you can decree all 80 of those decrees I gave you from here. And I was just like, oh my gosh, Lord. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I just kind of took my breath away. So here's the other thing the Lord had done with me and it showed me. He flashed before me his signet ring. This was three, four years ago. Well, there was writing on the Lord's signet ring. And so when you and I, as a king's kid, make a decree, it's backed up by Almighty God with a stamp of the King of Kings. I'm not kidding. This is great. This is great. So all 80 of these decrees that the Lord has given me, 40 of them he gave me in 2017 during the the 40 days of blowing the shofar, which marches up to the Feast of Trumpets, and then 40 last years. That's a total of 80. Here we are about 10 days out from the Feast of Trumpets right now that I'm sharing this message with you. God is speaking to us. He is speaking to us loudly. So as we continue down, I'm going to give you another decree that the Lord gave me last year. And this has to do with law and order. This has to do with courtroom stuff again. Listen, this was so profound when the Lord gave me this. This was day 27 of decree, decree day 27 last year. And it says, The tent peg of Jael in the hands of my people shall now pierce the head of Sisera Amalek, this evil with my hammer. Glory to God. So, J.L.'s wife is the one who, in the Bible, there in the book of uh, 
uh, when Deborah was judge, she's the one who killed that evil king. But she did, and she did it with the tent peg. So the Lord was saying so much here. Here's the revelation of that word. My JLs of the tent peg of the Lord in their hand will crush the head of the snake, the new world order. Call forth my JLs to come up and take the tent peg in their hand. Step up and take your place. You hold the tent peg with law and order to crush this new world order, to crush these seven mountains of influence. It is time to infiltrate. Now is the time to make your move, for in doing so, I am with you. No man can stand before you from uh, because I go before you. You shall prevail in this hour. My judgment is sure. Glory to God. Glory to God. That is so amazing. That is so amazing. So, you know, we're going to see things just like Roe v. Wade that got overturned in the courts. We're going to start seeing more and more things get overturned in the courts because God wants it done legally. Well, I believe President Trump so many times has said law and order, legal. How many times has he used those terms himself? You know he has. You know he has. This is what God is saying. And you and I, some of you out there listening to my voice right now, this is resonating with you in you right now. You know you're called as one of those jails with that JLs, with that tent peg in your hand with law and order. God is going before you. No man can stand against you. Go, go now is what the Lord is saying. We're going to do it. His judgment is sure. It's already been taken care of in the courtroom of heaven. I told you on that second scroll, the Lord showed me the the scales of justice had already been removed because that court, that had been settled a long time ago in the courtroom of heaven. Freedom, freedom coins were falling. It's a good thing. Now, there's one other thing I want to share with you. It was day 25 last year, one of the decrees that the Lord gave me. And he told me to decree Ziglag once again. If you don't know the story of Ziglag, uh, there's more to it. Decree Ziglag once again, you shall recover all and divide the spoil. If you don't know that story, this is when, uh, that's where David was living with his wives and his children and his men. And they were out um, raiding, blah, 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 and whatever they were doing. And um, I, I, you know what? Pretty sure it was Amalek. Pretty sure it was an Amalek tribe. Came through, took their wives, took their children, um, took everything they had, burned the city with fire, and they were so distraught. It was just gone. Everything was gone. They even wanted to kill David. But he encouraged himself in the Lord. He called for the priest in the, in the ephod and sought the Lord as to what we should do. And the Lord said, pursue and you will overtake. And they did. And we're going to. And we're going to divide the spoil. Once again, you're going to see this. So what I found was so hilarious in this story with David. Okay. So an Egyptian had fell sick. And because they had fell sick, well, his uh, master just left him there to die. And this is when they were, you know, leaving Ziglag. And they had been out raiding all these other places, just taking all this loot and just gathering, gathering, gathering. They found this guy. And he said, hey, I'll tell you where they're at. I'll tell you exactly where they're at. Just don't kill me. This is like the um, whistleblower of all whistleblowers, right? So what happened? We know they did pursue them and they did recover all. And there was so much spoil, so much spoil. And David made it a um, basically a law. You know, you got to share this bowl. <laughs> And he sent gifts here and he sent gifts there. This is a great thing. You know, this is what once was will be again. And this is going to happen in our midst. And I just wanted to encourage you with this word. I just felt like the Lord wanted me to share that with you. He has been screaming from heaven of the things that are unearthing in Israel before his holy feast day of the Passover. We are about to have the Feast of Trumpets. And then we're going to have the Day of Atonement. And then we're going to have... Um, tabernacles. So look for the Lord your God to be doing something amazing, amazing, amazing uh, around the Feast of Trumpets. I don't know what it is, but something's going to happen. 
and uh, there may be a lot of chaos too, but we're clinging to the Lord our God. Hey guys, I love you. I hope that this message encourages you for to know that the Lord your God is for you. To know that the Lord your God has been speaking from heaven and he's speaking to you and me. He's got us. They're the ones who are cursed. They're the ones who are doomed. Y'all be blessed in the name of Jesus. I'll see y'all next time.